morning guys. May not be morning. Morning, noon, good afternoon, good evening to some of you. Um, today just a quick get ready with me as I'm meeting my friend Jackie later. So um was planning to do another video which to share with you guys the uh, lipsticks recommendations for autumn and the winter time as I still have few secret ones that I never shared before but I don't think today we got time so just going to be a simple get ready with me using few more new things so if you're interested oh my my lip is really really dry and this lip oil is I love it and I hate it it's from Uniqlo From Uni Club, this one is in one of my unboxing. The good thing about it, it's so hydrating, it's not sticky. Although when you do the swatches, it seems sticky, but when you apply it on the lip, it's not sticky. Especially if you have dead skin, apply this one, your dead skin just disappeared. It just merged back into your, your lip skin. Your lip becomes so smooth and hydrated and this one doesn't cause dryness afterwards. But the things I hated is the taste. It tastes like you're eating face cream. When you smell it, the smell is actually very, very light. You have to smell it very closely. It's like a very tinted blossom that type of smell it's actually it smells nice very very light smell but when you apply it on the lip you can't smell it but it's, you certainly can taste it the taste does disappear after a while but still like now i'm eating a soap it not soap more like eating face cream okay. uh, this is just a random hairband i would do my fringe later this fringe this time just Hey, I have no words. Uh, especially, I'm the person that not really good with straighteners, curlers. That you know, I don't really. I think it's just a lacking of practice. So, hey, I uh, give a go later to use a straightener, <laughs> just to see I can sort my fringe out. Foundation going to use Timage this one. They have a new version out which is the round bottle. This one compared to the round bottle, this one has a higher coverage but actually more creamy and hydrating. So this is supposed to be for drier skin, supposedly. But I'm combined with oily skin, I am absolutely fine with it. The the round bottle that one is more designed for oily skin. By the way, today there are still refurbishments downstairs, um, but the drilling is on and off. It's not been that horrendous, so we uh, we shall see. I have a mirror here, so I will look at it here once so often. How are you guys? Thank you so much for. Uh, watching and supporting my florist's videos. I've seen so many of you giving lovely comments, very kind words and thank you all for taking your time not only watch my videos but also leaving comments. Um, I really really thankful and appreciate that. For all the comments I do read through and whenever I have a moment I will reply as well. Um, it's really a great opportunity for me to know you guys well and also to know your guys' feedback to improve my video content and also to get to know you, all of you. <laughs> uh, which is very nice and you know it is quite different when you you know when you try to build friends relationship through face to face uh, compared to its online like what we are doing now it's very different it's very distanced but also you do feel the closeness there and you know now every time i see the comments appearing i straight away recognize a lot of yours uh youtube name 
may not be your real name, but your YouTube name certainly. And I just feel, you know, very nice, very nice to see.、Um, you just feel your old friends coming and checking in, say hi, you know. Great feeling. You see, I still got this much left. I just pumped out like one and a half pump, probably. I still got this much out. I think this puff definitely saves some foundation. It's going to be Christmas soon, and I know a lot of like Christmas-related videos.、Um, I don't know what type of Christmas related, or, or do you guys? Interested in Christmas-related videos? I know a lot of videos are like、um, preparing Christmas decoration, preparing Christmas gift, gift recommendations.、Uh, any of you interested in that? Obviously, we hope to go back to UK after Chinese New Year next year. So going to be probably end of February because so far still has no. Direct flights from China mainland. There are flights from Hong Kong,、uh, but the challenge is we still need to have COVID test, all the you know checks up this, all the checks, COVID test this and that before enter into Hong Kong. Then I may need to do another one in Hong Kong for the flights back to UK. So with a little one is, it's just going to be very hard, and. And my husband is also not too keen of flying in direct flights. It's just, you know, my baby is still too young. She hasn't had.、Uh, she's only two years old, so she hasn't had jabs. And I will be fully covered, not her.、Um, so we don't want to chance it. So we rather wait a little bit longer. So hopefully by February.、Um, Do you guys want to see a vlog going back to UK? It can be horrendous, you know. Quickly do my eyebrows. Use Florence's one. You know, I know all of you love watching Florence's, but at the same time, I don't want them to come out new items like. Every quarter, I need to watch my pocket. <laughs> Short of money. Out of interest, that you know, apart from florists, is there any other video you guys interested or want to see? By the time we need to leave, I really hope that my mom can come with us. Not only because that she would be a great help for the transition period for Emily, but same time that Emily is really loving her grandma.、Um, you know, from now once so often, I would kind of mention UK to Emily as she won't have memory for her own country anymore. So I kind of once so often mention that oh. Uh, we will be leaving here soon. We will be going back to UK, and you know you have your own room. What our house over there looking like? So I show her pictures as well. So kind of start dropping messages that you know it's not something scary. It's something fun. We we going back to there. You will also build up new friends. This and that. So and every time one mention that, she just the first thing coming out of her, she will always say. I bring my grandma home. I bring my grandma to UK. Can my grandma come with me? But I can't really guarantee that, is it? The eye look today. I'm going to use new Timage multi-use full color palette. My is E zero one. I used the ones already. This is so pretty. I absolutely love. Um, Tang Yi's product, the Timage. The more I use, the more I find his product is just full of his professionalness in that the attention to details and has his professional touch in there. But it's so easy 
for us to use, for normal people to use. Oh, by the way, he's eyeshadow. There are, I think, three or four colors uh, in this collection. I chose more like rosy, earthy ones. And all the, the biggest, the lightest color, like the base color, is all of them in each palette can be used as a blush. The pigment for this palette is like low to media. I think he purposely designed that. He, his product is, how to say, is more elegant and classic. It's not so much focused on creating different colors. His colors are more, how to say, are more useful, more daily wearable, and more effective of changing your facial visually structure rather than pile up with colors. So if you're looking for colors, uh, his brand may not be a good one but if you're looking for something that is simple to use effective and his one is very good and so easy to use this palette is like no mistake one this is what i've learned that you know when he when he used this palette he built up his um, blush and then just sweep the blush onto the eyelid a uh, very simple like that and it goes in a little bit so it like merge the same color as a base color it's just so good can you guys see I purposely add a little bit more blush color for you to see I'm not sure whether I still can buy Timage once I gone back to UK I do need to do a bit of research Very natural, right? And I like his brush. Look at this one. And let me just close this to show you guys the shape of it. Focus, come on. Do you guys see the shape? So here is like angled. Little bit drop. So when you, especially for you blending the out corner, it's just about the right size. Really good. Attention to details. Emily now is over two, just over two years. Oh, she's in the age of oh, not arguing. Arguing is a wrong word, but really, really yakking. That every time when you try to tell her off, for something that she will tell you first what's supposed to happen what she should have done and you know what's the right way to do things I was just like well you know all of this so why are you not doing it oh, she's in the age of I appreciate and understand she has her own mind but seriously Education kit is a very, very hard work. And she's extremely stubborn. She doesn't like any new clothes. So anything appeared as new things, including new food. She's happy to accept new snacks, but not actual food. So for example, if this vegetable she never seen before, she don't want to try. If there is a type of meat she never tried before, she don't want to try. And then including clothing as well, shoes, hats. Basically, apart from snacks, she's not accepting anything new in her life. It's really... Ah, it takes a lot convincing. You would think that she's just two years old. When you... You know, when us, when we were two years old, we, we kind of... We don't know those things. You... You eat what you were given, you wear what you were given. You wouldn't even think about, oh, I have my own decision to make whether I like this thing or not. But uh, nowadays, the kids are just too clever sometimes. Oh, I show you guys the shimmer color. It's so pretty, so fine, so beautiful. Although it is very, very subtle, but it's so effective using on the eyes. It's over here. 
King Kasi. It is so nice to be used on the ice. Having good balance of champagne and rosy shimmer. It's so nice. Can you see a little bit? I am trying to use as much uh, natural daylight as possible. And also you guys probably noticed the background change again. If you followed my channel for a while, you will know that I've gone back to my old room, which is my room, but, um, but my grandma was here uh, for a while. Now she is kind of moved to my auntie's uh, she moved to my auntie's house just for a change as my auntie just leaving uh, next door so she's not going far it is great I have my own filming room back that I don't have to f borrow my mom's room every time it's, it's way much more convenient just for the product alone that I bought so many makeup since I do in this channel so I have so many things for one video when you have a room to your own it is much easier do you guys prefer more natural daily wear or look or you tend to be more colorful there is nothing wrong of either way but it's just interested in uh, you guys' preference. I'm more a uh, natural daily wear ball type of person. It's just because I'm not that talented of mixing and match colors. I absolutely enjoy and I watch loads YouTubers and YouTube videos that people creating lovely, like colorful eye looks. I absolutely enjoy that. But just there. Uh, uh, I got no skill to achieve that. <laughs> Let's just face it. Oh, recently I bought a couple of old and new uh, eyeshadow palettes. I'm waiting for them to arrive. One is from Too Faced, the one is from La Natasha Genona. I'm not sure Natasha Genona, that one is new. Or oh, that one definitely newer than the Too Faced one. The Too Faced one, that palette, I never had it before, but it's now really, really, not back to the fashion, but kind of out of sudden, so many people recommending that palette. So I really want to try that palette. Apparently, it's very good for puffy eyes. The color design are really, really good. Can create different eye looks as well. So um, I bought that one. It's on its way. And the other one is uh, Natasha Denona. And the palette itself is slightly similar as Too Faced one. It's more suitable for daily wear. But of course, Natasha Denona's one, you always can work and create lovely, bulky, smoky eye looks. But that palette is also being rated that one of the most suitable palettes for puffy eyes very interested and uh, very excited hopefully should be this couple of days and I should receive it and I will certainly share with you guys as well oh I think my kiss me gel eyeliner is finished that's why I feel it's like Nothing coming out. Look at this. Hey. Do you guys have the challenges with fringe? I do. And I every time I see some shorts, videos, TikTok for the experts that when they're using straighteners to sort out their fringe I am just absolutely amazed by but uh, um, I'm just really really not good oh, 
I don't even know where to start. I think they said it's like you go with the line at this. I God knows. Let's just go with the flow. Oh, hey, hey, hey. hey. Mm. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, every time I'm just so nervous of doing this. cool down I will be looking pretty again I hope I think I think I may need to do it like that and then like that and then tilt a bit Stop crying, Maggie. Focus, focus. Going a little bit upwards. Now angle it. Then stretch it. It's fine. It's not a date. You just see your friend. Your friend know your. Your friends know you well. She's seen so many times of you even without makeup. She won't mind off your fringe. Why my fringe just doesn't really want to drop back down? Am I doing it wrong? Well, slightly better than before, okay? Okay. Let's just compare before I I dye anything with it. Oh, I can't do this one. I need to at least to turn it a little bit. It's so easy to see other people doing it, but the way it comes down to yourself, sometimes you just want to blame it's because of this, but I know it is not. I shouldn't do this way. I need to do the other way around, right? But uh, how? But I'm doing it like this. Should I actually supposed to be doing like this? Like that. Like that. Oh, no. No, 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 the other way around. Like that. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm just going to use a clip to clip it on. This is the best I can get. I will tidy it up a little bit. We'll get here a little bit. You know, once I come back to UK, if I do this in front of my husband, he would absolutely take a piss. He's not Irish. Can you imagine that if he does a voice over for my makeup it will be hilarious i may actually ask him to do that obviously why i've gone back to uk not now he won't be able to do it now i think now is slightly better right 
after I push the hair a little bit up. Oh, this is the best that I can get. At the same time, I think you guys had enough of me. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for spending time with me. Really, really appreciate. If you're interested in any other type of videos or anything you like me to do, or any makeups or any product you like me to use in front of the cameras, certainly leave your comments down below. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you on my next video.